Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to your tarot reading. Really like to thank you for joining the channel and viewing this video. Okay, so I, I have laid out a spread here in front of you. I did pre-shuffle the cards uh, and this is going to be a reading focusing on who's coming towards you, where you're currently at in your relationship or how things may unfold currently or in the near future. Um, so if you're tuning in and you do have a connection here that you're wondering about or someone that you're involved with, um, this reading can be for you. I will be starting off with the Emperor and then reading the cards consecutively. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. You'll find the details below uh, or in the About Me section on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, um, let's kick off the reading with the Emperor energy. And this is really, really powerful. It's a major arcana energy, which tells me your current um, your current person is, is becoming very important to you or you're about to have your Emperor enter your life. Now, this is someone very influential and very powerful, someone who's going to... Um, who's going to hold up a lot of standards, uh, someone who's going to be a very big presence in your life, romantically speaking. Um, now, I feel like once you're going to meet this person or connect with them, there may be some time apart, which is indicated by the next card, the Eight of Cups. So uh, it says to me, Water Signs, that you're going to meet this person or you have met this person. And then what ha will happen is, is that you'll go on a different path and you may have some sort of distance. So it's almost like it'll almost happen into a relationship and then you'll take time apart. Um, whether for geographical reasons, whether you decide to take a holiday, whether the two of you walk away, maybe you ghost each other. There is a separation in the cards here, okay? The next card over the Three of Cups, you may start to become friends with this person once again. You might even catch up, um, make contact of some kind, but it's on a friendly manner. Um, and it's almost like this person might be circulating around your social circle. So there's mutual friends inviting this person out. You're bumping into them. It's coming into a platonic level um, in that stage. And then the next card you have is a chariot card, which is the relationship happening um, all over again. And this time it's destined to succeed. The chariot card is a card of success a card of greatness. The black and the white sphinxes very well indicate twin flame, divine masculine and divine feminine connection here. So I feel like this person is your uh, divine counterpart, which is fantastic. Um, I feel like this is a relationship that's written in the stars and the two of you are destined for greatness here together. So that's fantastic to see. Um, so it's almost like you need to be away from each other for the two of you to come back. Now, once this happens, we can see with the Eight of Pentacles, there's going to be a lot of hard work that's going to be put into this relationship. Um, a lot more dedication, a lot more commitment. This person is going to show up. They're going to follow through. It's not about talking the talk. It's about walking the walk, water signs, and you're going to be so impressed with this kind of behavior here. Communication is also um, is going to be a very powerful thing that's going to shift in your relationship together. The King of Swords is the two of you finally opening up, okay? Finally being honest, telling each other the truth, telling each other your fears, your insecurities, um, becoming exclusive as well here. So uh, the exclusivity, uh, this um, the part where you become exclusive may come fairly early on in the relationship. You may share it with other people. You're calling each other, each other's um, girlfriends, boyfriends, partners, spouses, whatever it is. Um, there's, there's this exclusivity exclusive energy because the king of swords likes to let everybody know what he's thinking what he's feeling um, or she respectively now the next card over is that as you uh, come into this powerful communication energy the star card follows and this card is reversed so it says to me that some sort of healing or lack of forgiveness needs to happen here um, the star card says to me that uh, some things may start to go in reverse a little bit Okay, the star card could be something about attention. One of you might be attracting too much attention. The other could be getting jealous. This could be about attention. This could be about something that isn't forgiven or isn't healed. And that issue from the past may just resurface once again. Um, but I feel like it's a test because the ne next card we see is the Queen of Cups and she's all about love and care. So there is an epiphany here, um, Water Signs, especially for you. It could be at this point, um, in the relationship, you realize you're in love, you're falling in love, um, you're falling for this person with the Queen of Cups here. Um, so there is an emotional epiphany that does take place. 
Knight of Wands could indicate there's a trip that may happen around this time in your relationship. Um, this person's family may be visiting. The two of you might be going into state, out of state, to a different city, state or country. There could be a possibility of the two of you moving in together. Um, the Knight of Wands could also be someone gets attention from another person, possibly a fire sign here, and it may cause a, a bit of jealous issues, a jealousy issues in the connection. What I love is that this is, it's almost like this jealousy is going to prove your love between yourself and this person. You do have the king and the queen. Um, so it could be that the female or the one that takes on a feminine role in the relationship is the one that's going to fall first um, or even say they love you first. And then you'll come around if you're identifying as the king um, or if you're the queen, it's almost like you'll come around. So one of you is going to fall for the other um, first. Okay. And the king of cups is telling us that, that it is a deep love you're going to have for this person. Um, pure love is going to exist, which is beautiful. This is that the two of you are going to be at a stage in your relationship where you both care about each other. Um, but I feel like there's an element of helplessness that the Five of Pentacles um, brings. So Five of Pentacles is about needing help um, or it's a test of support and commitment. So there's a big test in the relationship that may come about. And that test is about proving if you can be there to help this person or you might be in need um, financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And it's going to be a test to see if this person really will come through. Um, I feel like they will and they will be able to achieve that, which is great. We see the devil as the next card and this is reversed. This is good because it in indicates that you are eliminating toxic behavior. Okay, maybe you're seeking help from friends, from family, from spirit guides, uh, from therapists. Whatever it is, it's going to eliminate the toxic burdens in your relationship. Trust issues, addictions, all those sorts of things. They're coming up reversed, which would indicate you are actually getting rid of these sorts of energies, which is great to see for the connection. Um, the devil card is also like eliminating um, flirtatious behavior, cheating, wandering eyes, all those sorts of things could be diminished in the relationship. Now, the next card over we have is the Eight of Wands. This is a card of insecurities. So just as you eliminate them, you may still be worried um, or there's anxious tendencies either within yourself or your person. Um, what I love is that the Queen of Swords is the next card. So whatever these sorts of anxieties are or thoughts or uncertainties that you may start to get water signs, your ability to communicate them um, is going to be really strong at this stage of the connection. You do have that queen here. So this indicates being able to talk openly about things. This indicates um, being able to open up. Um, be careful of gossiping or telling, I guess, people around you too much about your relationship, about you or about your person. You never know who's listening and you never know who that person person's, um, you never know what the true intentions of that person are. Because the queen of swords like to gossip. So be careful of telling people too much intimate details about your relationship because there could be a gossip scandal around you or about your connection. And that's why the hermit is coming up um, reversed here. So it is a time when you need to be alone or you need to have independence in, in this relationship, but that independence is being declined. So this is all about identity and independence. It's coming up reversed here. So... Um, there's something you need to work on here, your own individuality in this connection. The Hermit is Virgo, though, and this is the overthinker. So some overthinking thoughts happening here, especially in this corner. So that might occupy quite a bit of your relationship. Uh, but ultimately, you will be able to judge the situation fairly with the Justice card. Um, this could be wedding bells for some of you or a legal connection to this person. You might be signing a lease together. Uh, you may be getting married. You may be getting um, a civil partnership, for example. Example, there is some sort of legal merging. Uh, for some of you, it could also be a separation, a divorce, or a settlement of some kind. So that could happen in the relationship as well. Um, we then have the seven um, of pentacles, which is I feel like is, is a card of growth. So really, whatever, whatever happens here with the justice card, um, that seven of cups is coming in, uh, pentacles, sorry, is coming in and telling you you're going to learn from this. It's a learning curve in the relationship. And all is not revealed to you with the High Priestess. It says that there's unfinished business in this connection. Um, the High Priestess doesn't reveal things. So there's still something that needs to be revealed about yourself, about this person, about your past. Um, it could also be a sign of pregnancy. You're destined to have a child with this person or you're destined to build a family home um, with them as well. But I feel like with the High Priestess here, it really makes things very open-ended. 
So things are still open as they stand. So open-mindedness and open-endedness is occurring. So um, really interesting to see where you identify in this story, um, water signs, but uh, I really appreciate you popping over. Thank you again so much. All the best and bye for now.